In this video, we're going to be applying thumbnails to our post. And I have three steps here basically to accomplish this. One, we're going to need to go into the functions.php file and add a couple WordPress functions to enable this feature. Then once we're done that, then we could go into the index and single.php file we created in the last couple videos. And inside the post loop, we're going to add another couple WordPress functions to basically tell WordPress where we want this image to show up at. Then once we're done that, then we could just go into the dashboard and download our image and apply it to whatever post we want. So in this video, I'm going to be using these four functions right here. And if you want to find these functions quicker, um, just go down in the description. I'll have references down there. You just click on that and you end up on these two pages a little quicker so you don't have to search around for it. So let's first go into the dashboard and find out where this feature is usually located at. So let's move this off to the side. Then if you go and click on post, and then pick any post, it doesn't really matter, and click on edit. Okay, great. And then on the right here, usually there's a feature where you could pull in an image and apply it to your post, a thumbnail to your post. But in our case, we're creating a theme from scratch, so we need to enable this feature. Usually when you install like a WordPress theme, this feature is already enabled. You don't even have to do this step. But in our case, we're building a theme from scratch, so we need to enable it. So let's go into our functions.php file and add this feature. Before we add our post thumbnail option, let's go and create a function for setting up our theme. So this function's sole job is to set up all our settings and all our options when the, the theme first sets up. So first, let's create a function. You can name it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so whenever our theme is setting up, it's going to get this function's going to get called. So we need to hook this into our theme, this function we just created. So we have this right here, add action. Just copy this. And just paste that right here. And like we did before, the second parameter needs to be the function that you just created. So let's just copy this. And throw that right here. Okay, great. So now we need to go out and fetch the hook that we're going to be using to hook this into our theme. So let's go out to that, the browser and check that out. So WordPress gives you a lot of different action hooks for a lot of different situations. And here on this page, and again, I'll have this link down in the description if you want to find this page quicker. Um, if we navigate down here, like we already used uh, one of these hooks down here, this one right here, to pull in all our style sheets and, and scripts. So now what we're going to use is one that's called After Setup Theme. And like I was saying before, this is for setting up your settings and your options. And this is one of the first action hooks that are triggered when you first pull in your download your theme. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this. So copy. And then let's go back to our, our function.php file and paste this. And add it in the first parameter. So I'm just going to paste it right here. All right, great. So now that that's all set up, now we're ready to start adding our, our theme support. So we're, the first one we're going to add is the post thumbnail. So if we go back to our checklist here, our second function here, the add theme support post th thumbnails, and we're going to actually check out the documentation for this, but let's just, I'm just going to copy this and just throw that right here. And now we have basically told WordPress, hey, we want to, we want to use this post thumbnails uh, in our post. So now let's go out and check out the documentation just in case you want to read up on this because there is many, many, many different options you could use in here. So let's go and check that out actually. The add theme support function gives us the ability to register a lot of different features. And the, all the different features are right here on the right side. The one we're currently using is the post thumbnails feature. But note that you have a lot of different features you can include. And we're going to actually be doing that in later videos, including more features. But just know uh, if you ever want to read up on them, you could just find them over here. And also, if you check out the description, they're using the after setup theme. We already set that up in our functions.php file, so that's great. And um, down here is a bunch of different snippets. You could always just go down, and if you want to just set up something really quickly, you don't want to type it all out, you just come down here. Like this one, for example, this is the one we're using. You could just copy it, paste it right in your project. You don't have to type it. That's great. 
So now we're ready to move on to the next stage and set it up inside of our index and our single.php. If we go and pull up our checklist here, we want to tell WordPress where do we want to, these images to show up at. In our case, we want it to show up in these two documents. And so what we're going to do is use these two functions to make that happen. So let's go check out the documentation while we're here. And I already have that in the tab up here. So let's pull that up. So right here in the template tags, again, I'll have this link down in the description. And if you go to post thumbnails tags, and here are all the different options you can use to tell WordPress where you want these images to show up at. Now the two we're going to be using is uh, the, the post thumbnails and has post thumbnails. Now the has post thumbnails is just a Boolean basically, and it just checks if there is thumbnails. And then the post thumbnail is actually what pulls in the image. So let's go to our index page. We'll start on that, that page and we'll add these two functions. So we'll start inside the index.php file and inside of the loop we created in the last video, we'll go and add our post thumbnails. So first we wanna to check to see if there is any post thumbnails. So we'll run an if PHP if. Okay, and then let's close this up while we're here. Okay, great. So we want to put that Boolean function right in here. So if has post th thumbnail, this is a Boolean. So I'm just going to copy this. Actually, why, why I'm, I got this. And just throw that right here. Then if there is uh, post thumbnails, then we'll just put another PHP tag right here. Okay, and then we'll just put in the post thumbnail right here, and that will output the image right here. Now keep in mind, let's just pull this in. I'll just copy this. Now keep in mind, you could put this in inside of a figure tag. That's why I'm doing it this way. So let, let's say you want to add a figure element or a div tag or anything like that for styling purposes. And then we could go and just throw that right in here. You know, you can style it out like that if you want to. And then just uh, get rid of this class for now. Save it. Okay. So now um, the post thumbnail, you can add something in here. And let's actually check out the documentation for that. Let's say you want the image to be a just a small little thumbnail. You could actually put that in as a string right here. And let's go check out the documentation real quick. So if you click on the post thumbnail, and then just go down, I think I've seen it down here before, right here. So these are all the different options you can use. Like on the index page, I'm going to use thumbnail. And then I'm going to leave it blank on the single.php file. And I just want that to just to be the default original size of the uh, image. So I'm just going to copy this. This should give us 150 by 150. So that's great. So let's go back to our code editor. And I'm just going to paste that right in here. Great. So now we can just copy this and we want this in our single.php file also. So copy this. And then we're going to go and paste that right into the same spot in this page right here. So right inside of the loop. Now I want just the default size of the image. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Very good. Save that and save this now if we run this in the browser it's still not going to work because we didn't apply any thumbnails to our inside of our dashboard so now we need to go inside of the dashboard like on our checklist here go inside of the dashboard and add that featured image to our individual posts so let's pull up the dashboard so here in the dashboard make sure you refresh it because we made a lot of changes in the function.php file. Okay, great. So now on the right side of here, you, says, you should see featured image. So now we can include images into our post. So let's go and click on this. And we have no images yet. So let's go and select the file. I'm just going to drag and drop. That's what I like to do. So just go and minimize this. And I have a image folder. And which image do we want? I'm just going to pick this one. This would be fine. Drag that in there. All right. Maximize this. So we'll use this. So set this as the featured image. Very good. Okay. So let's update that. Make sure you do that or it won't work. 
All right, so let's go to the front end and see how it works. So here I already have that and I'm gonna refresh it. And as you can see, it's showing up as a small thumbnail. So now if we click on this link, it should be a, the larger one. Very good. Great, so everything's working. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna be building the header, the footer, and the sidebar.php file. And we're gonna be slicing up our website a little bit and cleaning things up. So I'll see you then.